everybody welcome back to the credit k youtube channel you know i teach about business credit personal credit finance crypto anything to help you level up out that life of poverty and stress especially in this recession you know we about that hit that like button smash the subscribe button man i'm gonna put you on game on how to get a personal loan to help you bring down the utilization on your other credit cards pay down some debt or use it to move or any financial hardships no doc credit loan i mean yeah credit loan up to five thousand all the way up to fifty thousand no credit check all right all right let's get into it so best egg put your best eggs forward um this company gives personal loans and credit cards First off, we know we're going to do the data points. They uh, pull from either TransUnion, soft pool, or Equifax, soft pool. Now, all these companies are going to do some type of check on your credit just to make sure you ain't out here crazy. Like I said, no impact to credit score. It doesn't mean that they're not going to take a peek and see and make sure you got no foreclosure, no serious delinquencies on your credit report. So, you know, as long as you don't have anything major delinquent in the past six months, you shouldn't have any problem getting approved for this loan or credit card. Now, of course, the higher your credit score, the lower the APR, the higher your amount is that you're going to get approved for. But like I said, it's no document. So you, um, you don't have to send anything to get approved. Now, I have heard on some form sites from a guy who had like a 605 credit score and some things on him that they did want to see a, a check stub just to say that he's high, uh, you know employed. And I'm not sure if they kind of verified the check stub with the amount he made, with the amount he put on the application. But I did hear one person ask for a check stub, but all of the probably 90 other comments I saw about this, people who applied and got $15,000, $20,000, no documents, no hard credit check. And this stay on to like they third month of making payments and still no hard inquiry showing up. But the personal loan did show up on your credit report. So just know that the loan will show up, but the hard inquiry will not. So let's kind of get into uh, what Best Egg is. They are a, I say they're a subprime um, loan lender company. Um, they kind of target people who are in debt. Um, I kind of noticed that once some of my credit card balances get high, I start getting these letters in the mail from Best Egg. I've never applied for them because um, I know that their APRs are kind of high. And I've done one similar to Best Egg, um, which is, I can't even think of the name of it. At the moment, it will come back to me, though. But I have done a personal loan through SoFi. I have done a personal loan through Discover. And what's the other one? Not Linden Tree. Uh, it'll come to me. But I've done one with something similar to Best Egg. It had a very high interest rate. But the benefit of it that the interest rate was still lower than the credit cards I was trying to pay off. So I was uh, had very high credit card debt at one point. I ran up some cards from Navy Federal, and I never really paid them down for that in intro interest rate. So that's why I always preach, make sure you pay that intro interest rate down to zero or something where you can handle it. Once that interest rate hits onto it, those payments are going to double. You don't want that. But doing these uh, loans like this is a great way to co consolidate your debt. If your credit card, you know, for like 20%, 17%, you get an interest rate around 9%, 10%. Go ahead and take, you know, these personal loans, kind of the smart thing to do. It's not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I would do, what the smart thing what I would do. And then the credit cards kind of have the same thing, no impact to your score uh, if you're not approved. Now, if you do get approved with the credit card, they will go ahead and put a hard inquiry on there. But that's after you get approved. You know, you know what your score is, how much you're going to get what your interest rate is, I'm sorry, and what you're going to get. So don't worry about that so much. Um, but the loans, they go through a process. So they ask you uh, for the loan, like, you know, how much, uh, 
money, you know, you're making, how much uh, do you want to, you know, claim for the loan? How much debt are you in? What are you going to use the loan for? I always use debt consolidation. That's a great, great way to get approved. Um, using personal things like weddings or car purchases, I wouldn't really put that as a reason for the loan. I would just go with reasons to, you know, lower debt, something you're already paying off, already making payments to already. You just want to have that in a more concise payment form instead of paying three different credit cards off. You can just get this um, loan, pay the credit cards down, and then just pay this company one lump fee every month. So that's what I did. Um, that kind of helped me out, build my credit, get me out the credit rut. I had very high utilization. I was getting denied for a lot of uh, loans and, and credit cards on the business side. <clears throat> but once I you know, brought my DTI, my debt to income, and my utilization down, I was able to get approved for all those business credit cards. Now, we know that the business credit cards do not show up on the personal side. So you can get those and you can run those up and don't have to worry about the utilization showing. You don't have to go through this personal loan method. But like I said, this is the easiest way to get a big sum of money, a lump sum of money without having to, you know, start a business, show revenue. All you need is a halfway decent credit score and they're going to give you the money. The interest rate is going to be high. So make sure you can handle that. But doing these uh, personal loans like Best Egg and I got a couple of other ones on my channel. I did one with, um, like I said, with SoFi and another with a car company called payoff payoff does the same thing where they offer you uh no you know no credit check to get approved for that as well so of course i'm gonna leave a link to best egg down in the description if you're interested in applying for this loan or credit card like i said data points they usually pull from experian or transunion soft pool and then a possible hard pool will show up later after you get approved no documentation um just you know you know make sure you acquiring under uh fifty thousand worth for the loan and just don't put nothing astronomical on the uh, application make it believable uh, if you're in this much debt in this much struggle you're probably not going to be making over a hundred thousand so don't put that on the application kind of be truthful um i was truthful with it i just said i made about forty five thousand dollars and i was approved so uh you know go ahead and try them out Ready K away. And uh till next time, we're gonna bring you more tools to you know help bring down your debt, help build your credit scores, and uh, you know, help level up. All right. Later.